This is a radio I've been working on for the last week, uh, repairing, and I'm just about to test to see if it works. Oh, I actually hear something. Look at that. Amazing. Now this radio here is actually a Crossley Super Turdine. Uh, it was made in around 1924, or perhaps even 1925. Um, it's a regenerative set, which means it uh, has this set of coils there that feeds back some of the signal back to the previous tube from uh, forward tube. And that's what they uh, used to get some extra amplification. Okay, we're going to adjust some of the controls here. This is the regen control. As you can hear, it doesn't sound too good if that's not adjusted correctly. Uh, this is uh, one of the real stash. This is the one that controls the volume. It's just much similar to a modern radio. Uh, this control here uh, moves a coil up and down and it uh, helps match your set to the antenna, which typically would be a long wire of some sort. Now, if we want to tune something, we need to do both dials at the same time. This is too bad on this radio, but some of the other radios from the 1920s actually had three dials and they were a lot more complicated. And you can see we can keep on going. Let's try to find another station here. Yeah, sometimes that sticks. Yeah, I need a little grease in there. We're going to take a look at the back here. You can see one of the tubes, uh, 01A, which is the tube number. Uh, this is the antenna coupling coil. Simple device. And uh, this is the uh, what's called the tickler coil, which adjusts the regeneration or feedback. It's a very simple device as well. Okay, we're going to try and uh, find some other stations here with this, see how far we can go. Yeah, give the antenna coupling a little uh, adjustment to maximize the signal. What you're doing there is actually matching the impedance of the radio with the impedance of the antenna. If you're an uh, engineer, you probably know what that means. So we're going to have to track these two dials again. Um, in more modern radios, uh, they actually have uh, multiple capacitors, but they're ganged, and one dial controls all of them at once. You don't see them like this. A little different. What do we got here? Jersey City. Well, that certainly is not Toronto, so that's got to be quite a ways away. adjustment. Um, one advantage of these uh, types of radios is you can actually, um, because you can independently adjust each uh, capacitor, you can do a pretty good job at tuning out uh, the interfering stations. Ah, that would be in New York City, which is about 550 kilometers away or 350 miles. That's pretty good. Um, there's uh, a couple other stations I can probably pick up. Uh, like uh, Chicago typically will come in on these old radios, which is about 750 miles away. And on good nights, I've been able to pick up stations like uh, out of Des Moines, which is, uh, I believe, 1,200 kilometers away. So that's not too bad for uh, these old radios.
Now that's it for this video. Um, uh, stay tuned for some others. In the meantime, take care.